Hi, I'm Ben from CyclingTipsHQ.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to build routes using Strava and then transfer them across onto your Garmin or similar device. Now this links into a, um, an article on my site, 9 steps to creating routes using Strava. So if you haven't got a chance to watch the video now, then please feel free to head across to this web address and have a look at it. You can see I'm using a Mac here, but the steps will be very, very similar as to using a, a Windows PC. So when you open up Strava, uh, you should come to this page initially. What you need to do is open the dashboard menu and then go to My Routes. Now, when I go through into My Routes, you're going to see a lot of routes that I've got loaded up already, that I've already created or downloaded. Um, what you want to do is hit the Create New Route button here. So this is going to give you a blank screen um, with the routes on it. Now, this is around where I live here, so you know you can zoom in as far as you want. Um, and then to start off creating a route, you literally just hit a location, and then for the next point, hit the next location, um, and then you work your way around. So let's create ourselves quite a nice little simple route around here, um, just like that. Now, there's a number of things you can then do. So if you've got the route wrong, you can pick up and drag these these black dots around so if you want to change the route slightly you can mess around with it that way and then at the top here you've got a number of different settings that you can change so the first one is use popularity so the great thing about Strava is it uses all the data created by people online um, and it allows them to go for the most popular routes now if I click this here it's going to send me up a slightly different route so if you see that it's going to change the route slightly that's because that road near me has only been opened fairly recently so it's not yet that popular with cyclists so you can see the popular popularity in use there you can also collect select minimum elevation which will try and take you around any big hills and you can also then put on manual mode which isn't ideal because then you can literally put the dots anywhere um, and, it, and it all gets a bit confusing so I rarely use that. In the bottom right hand corner here you can then have a look at the elevation for the route so you can kind of change that around and you can see as, as you kind of change the dots around the elevation changes. In the left hand corner here you've got a number of other settings so you can turn on and off distance markers on the map so you can see these changing. You can change them between miles and kilometers. You can choose to use bike lanes or paths uh, I prefer to stick on the roads because I'm a road cyclist, but if you're looking for routes through a city centre, that might be best. And then you can add in the global heat map. So this will show you some of the most popular routes. So red being used most often, as you can see here by this one, which we selected earlier, it's blue because it's not that popular. You can also change into different different types of maps. So, you know, I can switch into the, the satellite menu, um, the terrain map, so it gives you lots of different options. The second bit down here is a cue sheet, quite useful. This is what people used to use before Garmin's. You can print this off for directions if you want backup, if you're worried about battery. Um, this will show you all the different segments that are around. And then the last bit here is, is just some information and some more tutorials if you want to use them. So once you've got your route sorted, you hit save um, and you, you type in whatever name you want. Now if you click this button here, it will make it private. If you don't make it private, what it's going to do is show up on your feed and then anyone can download that route. So I'm going to keep it open for the time being. I'm going to hit save and then I'm going to go to view my route. So this route is now um, uploaded and ready to go. But what I want to do now is get it across onto my Garmin device. So you can see um, when, this, when this loads up, this is the route that we've just created. It's 19.2 kilometers, 118 meters of elevation gain. They reckon it will take me 45 minutes, which wouldn't be a good day, and you can see the elevation on the bottom. Now, to get it onto your Garmin, you're going to need to click this export button here. Um, you download a GPX file, and that is then going to drop straight into your downloads file. Um, so wherever your downloads are, that's then going to download. So when I open up my Finder menu um, and go into Downloads here, I'm going to see that here. So I've got my new route here. Now, to put it into a, a Garmin, um, what you need to do is copy it open up your Garmin and then you'll see a lot of folders here double click Garmin and then you need to find the one that says new files so don't stick it into the courses one Garmin will do that automatically open up the new files and then paste that item into there and wait for it to wait for it to load onto the Garmin and it really is as simple as that when you open up your Garmin device next time round 
if you go into courses you're going to find that sitting in there and ready to navigate for you so i hope you've enjoyed um enjoyed the video today as i say if you haven't had an opportunity uh, to watch the video because you're in an office or somewhere that you can't put the sound on at the moment then feel free to head over to my site it's cyclingtipshq.com creating routes using Strava um, and you can read through exactly the same steps on there which should help you get those Garmin routes uh, get the Strava routes sorted and onto your Garmin thanks a lot